Yeah, hi, it's Martin here from the blog NewbieAffiliateMarketer.com In today's video, we are going to be looking at five, that's five steps to making a passive income online with affiliate marketing. So are you ready? Let's go. Okay, if you are new to the channel here, then we make videos every week about affiliate marketing, email marketing, blogging, and easy ways to make money online so if any of those uh, appeal to you then make sure that you hit the subscribe button right now and the notification bell and then we will notify you every time we make a new video so basically in today's video we're going to be looking at five steps that you can put in place that will then get you a passive income with affiliate marketing okay if you don't know what affiliate marketing is and you're um, obviously new to the channel then affiliate marketing is where you basically take a someone else's product and you promote it and then you would then get a proportion or a percentage of that profit and then that's paid directly from the owner direct to you so you become a middleman between the owner of the product and the customer who's buying it okay so how do the five steps work so step one we're you need to find a niche. So a niche is obviously what you're going to be using. Um, so that could be in the health sector. It could be in the make money sector. It could also be in the relationships sector. And um, those are probably the three most common, although there are other ones as well. And there are plenty that you can actually go into. In fact, you could probably make money with most niches out there. Once you've chosen what niche you want to go into, they then really want to sub go into a sub niche and uh, you can find out more about that in this blog post here where I walk you through eight different niches that you can use to not only make money but also that get traffic okay so once you've chosen your niche we can move on to step two and then what step two is is we're going to build a website now don't be daunted about this because it's very very simple to do these days and it's really just a question of sometimes even just a click of a few buttons to actually get your website up and live on the internet. Now, the best platform to actually put a website on these days, I would probably say without any shadow of a doubt, is WordPress. So there's a couple of ways that you can do it. You can actually go to a site such as Wealthy Affiliate, which is free to join. And they'll actually give you a free website and free hosting to go with it so then you can then obviously get your website up and start going through they actually give you 10 lessons walk you through actually building your website and getting it live on the internet and those are all free um, the only problem with that is obviously the the actual website is hosted by a wealthy affiliate so you don't physically own it yes you could if you wanted to another day you could actually buy a domain name and transfer it over and keep it on Wealthy Affiliate if you want. But what most other people do is actually just do a self-host website um, on the WordPress platform. All you need to do to do that is actually get some hosting. Now, I've been through uh, various different hosting uh, companies uh, in, in my time as a web designer, and uh, probably one of the best ones to start off with, so you're not actually paying out an awful lot of money, is someone called Bluehost. They basically will host it for just a few dollars a month, so you won't have much of an outlay there. So once uh, then you have obviously got your website up and running. Okay, so if you've now picked your niche, you've got your website up and running, the third thing you need to do is obviously create some content for that website. Now that could be uh, videos, it could be images, like infographics, that sort of thing. But majority of the people obviously will put written text on the actual blogs. So they might do a review of products. They might actually do a list of the best top 10 products in your niche or whatever. I've actually got an article on my website which actually shows you how you can actually set up your first blog post. So you can go and have, check that out. I'll put some links uh, to all these uh, resources in the description below. Also, another thing you can do is obviously type in your keyword that you're doing your um, blog post about and see what comes up in Google and obviously then have a look at what comes up on the first page. 
how they have approached it. Obviously, you do not want to uh, obviously copy their content, but you can certainly get ideas from that, which will help you to then produce some very good content. And what you're looking at trying to do is trying to uh, get about 10 pieces of content at least up and running on various different topics in your niche, and uh, then you should be good to go. Okay, so we've uh, sorted our niche, uh, we've got our website up and working, and we've also got some content on it. So the fourth step in the process is obviously to drive some traffic, get some eyes on your content. So that's what you, you would need to do next. And there are various ways, obviously, you can do that. Social media, uh, obviously, you could do things like paid ads and that sort of thing. But as you're a beginner, I would say no. I would just go, there's enough free traffic you can get out of there. And I've actually put together an actual uh, a full report of 101 different ways to get free traffic to your website. So again, I'll uh, put a link in the description below here. It's totally free, so you can just click on the link and then obviously download that report. And that goes through, like I say, various different ways, email marketing, through to SEO, through to social media, etc., and loads, loads more in between. Okay, so fifth and final step we're looking at is obviously we've now got to monetize our blog. So in other words, we've got to uh, be able to um, create an income from our blog through affiliate marketing. Now, there are various other ways you can do that through blogging. Once your blog grows really well, you could put ads on it and you could make money that way. But obviously today, we're just going to be talking about affiliate marketing because that's something you can actually earn from day one, where most of the um, ad networks will want you to have a certain amount of visitors before they will allow you to put ads on, their, on your site. Okay, so with affiliate marketing, how do we do that? Now, basically what we want to do, we want to go and choose some products to obviously uh, promote. So, and uh, the way to do that is to probably join some of the affiliate networks. So you may have already products and that from your niche that uh, you may want to promote. So you may be able to go out and sign up on their particular website as an affiliate and obviously make money that way. There are obviously other affiliate networks such as Amazon and eBay, those sort of places but they tend to be a little bit less uh, or quite a bit less on the actual commissions. So um, the one I'm gonna talk about today is uh, one called ClickBank. And uh, if you're not a member of ClickBank, it's free to join. All you gotta do is click to sign up and then you are good to search within the platform for programs to promote. Now down here on the left-hand side, once you're in ClickBank, you'll see there are various different categories. So we could pick out our category. So again, we're looking at affiliate marketing or online marketing. So if we uh, head and click on that, and then it obviously takes us across to, uh, comes up with some offers. Now, I'm not gonna go into too much detail I, on this particular video because I've done uh, another video all about ClickBank and how uh, you can actually go and uh, make money with ClickBank. So make sure you check out that video uh, and it's going to be, uh, there's a link in the description just here. And I'll also link in the description below. Okay, but basically you would then choose your product, you'd get your link, and then you can place your link on your website. Okay, and again, um, there are various ways you can either put it within the text, so you can hyperlink uh, it within the text. You can also, with some of the products, they'll give you banners, they'll give you... Um, videos, quite a lot of marketing material, and all of those you can obviously add onto your website. So you can put banners within your blog post, you can have banners on the sidebar, uh, you can put videos, you can embed videos and that within your blog post. So there's loads of different ways. And then when you get your traffic and a client obviously comes to your site and they're looking for a solution to a problem, you offer them the solution, they're gonna click on the link go through and then purchase the product. And then what you'll get is you'll get a commission. Now, in order to make this a passive income, I would recommend if you can, and not all niches will be able to do this, but certainly most of them, is to try and find products that are what we call recurring products. Basically how that works is that um, they could be a membership site, they could be a software, 
It could be uh, something that's going to be billed on a monthly basis. So because basically what it means is you'll do the work once and then you'll obviously get paid month after month after month all the time your customer is, remains uh, using that product or service. And of course, that then makes it a passive income because once you've done that work, you don't have to repeat that. That income is going to come in every single month. Two of the recurring products that I promote, obviously one is Wealthy Affiliate because at a, uh, as a pro member, you get a recurring monthly income from the membership and also uh, things like Aweber, which is an autoresponder. So again, when people are building their lists, then I will then get a ongoing monthly commission. So there we go, guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, then make sure that you give us a big thumbs up in the uh, video below. And if you haven't already, uh, then make sure that you subscribe to the channel right now and hit that notification bell. So then you'll get notified every time we make new videos. Also, don't forget to check out our other videos which are situated around here. And of course, if you've got any questions, then obviously drop them in the comments below and I'll make sure that I answer them as quick as I can. Okay, that's it for today's video. We will see you on the next video.